So we start from where we left in the last video. I had to cut the video because it was becoming a bit too long winding and, and hence boring. Right? So so we came up with these two these two results, right? This and, and this. Now there's an interesting case when A is equal to B. Okay? Let us try to understand. If A is equal to B, what happens here? What happens to, to the tan alpha? So, so let me copy this expression and bring it here. So what happens is, if if a is equal to b, okay, if a is equal to b, okay, then then I write b also as a. Then what happens to tan alpha? Let us try to see. Tan alpha is equal to a sine theta, and and this becomes a plus a cos theta. This is equal to a sine theta upon a into 1 plus cos theta and that is a into 2 sine theta upon 2 into cos theta upon 2 right because sine 2 theta is expressed as 2 sine theta cos theta from trigonometry right and 1 plus cos 2 theta, 1 plus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta. So if it is 1 plus cos theta, it will become, it will become 1, 2 cos square theta upon 2, 2 cos square theta upon 2. Now what happens? 1 cos theta upon 2 cancels this. Okay, this 2 cancels this and I'm left with and there is an A as well. So A cancels A and 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 I'm left with tan theta upon 2. Now what does that mean? Let, let's come back to the original figure and, and, and try to understand. It's just trying to tell you that if these two vectors, right, this vector A and this vector B, are of the same length then this resultant will be a bisector of the angle between the two isn't it it is saying that alpha it, it is saying that hold on it, it is saying that it is saying that tan alpha is equal to tan theta by 2 is it not if tan alpha is equal to tan theta upon 2, what does it mean? It means that alpha is equal to theta by 2, isn't it? Let's come back. So what we are trying to say is, is this angle is equal to theta upon 2. So, so this becomes the bisector of these two, isn't it? Do we understand that? And, and do we understand that, that, that we know that if this is a parallelogram, this diagonal is actually the resultant. Now, if these two sides are equal, if this side is equal to this, then the parallelogram that you get is actually a rhombus. Is it not? Because then all the four sides will be equal. And in a rhombus, the diagonal is bisect the angle between the sides. Is it not? So there is a clear cut connection between this physics that we are doing and the geometry that you have already done. We get the point? And that is the reason it is taught in, in, in I think in, in about grade 9 you are taught the parallelograms in such intense detail. Right? It has got straight direct repercussion in physics later on, especially this, right? Now there are certain 
important things to 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 derive from our formula for the magnitude and and let's try to see that so so we got our magnitude formula as this let me let me copy this again and 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 paste it somewhere else so Is here. Let me let me kind of move it. Okay, this is something something like that. Now, what happens when these two vectors are perpendicular to each other, right? So, so let's try to see if, if, if this vector a, if, if this vector a is perpendicular to the other vector b, right? So, so let this vector be B. Now, now what is the resultant? Resultant formulas, they, they, the concepts, they always remain the same. So, what do we have to do? We have to, we have to take this vector. No, no, this is not, not, not vertical. So, okay. So, let me. First of all, try to make it vertical. Okay, this is one vector. Say, so B. Let us say this is another vector. A. And, and this is the angle which is 90 degrees. So theta here is 90 degrees, right? Now I, I try to copy this vector. Okay. This seems to be better. And and try to shift it. Correct. So, so I copy it. I paste it over here. So what do you have to do? You have to take it to to the to the head of it right or 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 that means connecting this you can make a parallelogram and 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 this vector okay this vector is the resultant now this vector was a this is b what happens? What is the resultant? The resultant directly comes from the Pythagoras theorem and that is R is equal to this length of this R is nothing but A square plus B square root over. Now do we get the same thing if I put theta equal to 90 here? Let's try doing that. So, so let us put putting theta equal to 90 in, in, in 90 degrees in equation 1 in equation 1 we get r is equal to a square plus 2ab cos 90 cos 90 is 0 right this makes this whole term 0 what is the value of cos 90 0 and what am I left with a square plus b square root over do they tally they should Otherwise, this formula would have become defunct. Correct? What if there is a vector a in this direction? Okay? Say a. And followed by that, I have another vector b. What is the length of the resultant vector?
if say this is this is five units in length, this is four units in length. What is the resultant length? Is nine. So so it tells me that resultant in this case, okay, R here is equal to a plus b. Now now does it mean that if I put theta equal to zero here, I'll get a plus b? Let us check. So I'll get r is equal to if I put theta equal to zero, okay? Theta equal to zero degree in one gives me r is equal to a square plus two a b plus b square, which is nothing but a plus b whole square, which is nothing but a plus b. Which is right, correct? What if, what if I, I I I go up, right? What if there is an A like that, seven units, and there is a there is a B like this, say two units. This, this is vector A, this is vector B. What happens? I'll have to shift this vector here. So B vector comes here, right? Same length. Okay. This vector is B vector. So, so what is the resultant? Resultant is drawn from the tail of the first to the head of the last, which is this. And what is this length? What should that length be? Five units, right? So this is my resultant. Now, so in a sense, what do I get the resultant as? Resultant is nothing but simply the subtraction of the magnitudes of the two. Now, now what is the angle between these two vectors? The angle here is 180 degrees. It means if I put 180 degree here, do I get this? Let's check. So R, if theta is equal to 180 degrees in 1 then r is equal to a square what is the value of cos 180 degree minus. minus 1 so this becomes minus 2ab plus b square right so this becomes actually a minus b whole square root over which is a minus b Right. which is correct. So the formula that we have got is a general formula when theta varies. For theta equal to 0, we, we are aware it is a to b. For theta equal to 180, it is a minus b. For theta equal to 90, it is a square plus b square. But what if it is not anything like 0, 90 or 180? So it gives you it just is a general formula that gives you the value of the resultant and the angle that it makes with, let's say, vector A for any value of theta. Do we get that? Okay. Fine.